Meghan Markle is dazzled when she joins Prince Harry in a joint prosperity event. Meghan Markle has arrived with Prince Harry for a Commonwealth Women's Empowerment Reception hosted by Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson as the former U.S. actress embraces royal life with five engagements in just six days. Meghan wore a stunning simple black dress with matching ankle strapped pumps as she was greeted by Mr. Johnson and his wife Marina Wheeler at the entrance of the Royal Aeronautical Society in London. The future royal wore a black fitted cowl neck belted Jackio cocktail dress by Black Halo and stylish Aquatura Milano cutout suede pumps. The event is Meghan's second Commonwealth event this week and what has been described as the couple's Commonwealth charm offensive. Meghan and Harry chatted with representatives from the Malala Fund, Plan International, the Varkey Foundation and Code Camp Charities who today alongside Mr. Johnson launched the Platform for a Girls' Education campaign. The initiative encourages all Commonwealth countries to commit to providing 12 years of quality education for all girls, a cause which is close to both Meghan and Harry's hearts. Hope, an 18-year-old from Kenya who campaigns on achieving equal rights for girls, said Meghan spoke to her about the long-lasting effect of getting girls into education. She added, Meghan Markle was talking about how it is a rippling effect when you empower girls, they empower the next generation. Meanwhile Harry praised the campaign, telling guests, what you're doing is absolutely amazing. He added, it starts from here, you have already done amazing stuff, now you have to energies. Britain is providing pound 212 meters and UK aid money to help 1 million vulnerable girls across the Commonwealth to receive 12 years of quality education by 2030. Meghan is known for her commitment to gender equality and empowering women and she previously served as a women's advocate for the United Nations. When she was 11, she persuaded a soap manufacturer to alter an advert after she wrote a letter to then First Lady Hillary Clinton complaining that it implied women belonged in the kitchen. The future royal also visited the Mina Mahila Foundation in India last year and wrote about its campaign to end period poverty, highlighting how the schooling of young women in India is disrupted when they are menstruating. The organization has been selected by Meghan and Harry as one of the seven charities well-wishers could donate to, rather than buying them wedding gifts. More than 130 million girls around the world are not in school and girls in conflict zones are twice as likely to be out of school compared to boys. Meghan and Harry have now exactly one month to go before their royal wedding in St. George's Chapel on May 19. It has been suggested Meghan's busy schedule before the wedding could be part of Royal Family's Commonwealth Charm Offensive. With more engagements focused on the Commonwealth plan it appears Meghan could be the Royal Family's secret weapon to appeal to the global network who will this week decide the Queen's successor as head of the Commonwealth. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk. Meghan is indeed planning to take her activism around the Commonwealth with Harry as part of the Royal Foundation after the wedding. The fact she is biracial will have enormous appeal to many in the Commonwealth who have previously viewed the Royal family as remote. The Royals are used for soft power very effectively in visits abroad, this would certainly apply to the Commonwealth as it does to Europe, to promote goodwill during and, assuming it happens, after Brexit. A Downing Street spokesman on Tuesday revealed the heads of the Commonwealth will decide if Charles will succeed his mother as head of the Commonwealth. The Queen has been head of the Commonwealth since coming to the throne in 1952 and despite being next in line for the throne, Prince Charles is not guaranteed of the honor. A statement on the Commonwealth Secretariat website states, when the Queen dies or if she abdicates, her heir will not automatically become head of the Commonwealth. It will be up to the Commonwealth heads of government to decide what they want to do about this symbolic role.